everybody. Come on in, come on in. Thank you all so much for being here. For anybody new here, hi. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you all to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today is not a health and wellness day. I am going to try and recreate a pastry, a buttery, flaky pastry that we had at Neiman Marcus. Apparently they are known for their popovers. You can even order them or have them delivered. I took the ladies to tea, the ladies from the finishing school. You all know Lucy and I teach the finishing school for the modern woman, which is a virtually taught eight week finishing school. We teach ladies all about etiquette, elegance and femininity. And I wanted to spoil them over their graduation weekend. So I took them to Neiman Marcus and we had afternoon tea. I did a recap of the afternoon tea yesterday. So if you all missed it, uh, you can take a look there, but I want to try and recreate this pastry. Now I messed up and I got a recipe that I couldn't do on live, put a pin in that and I'll uh, update you all later. But I do have a recipe that I think we can make. All right. So we're going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and y'all know who you are, you're always welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, and TikTok. I am hacked off of Instagram right now and I am fine with it. The internet is not real, but I am real, so here we go. All right, let's see who we have on TikTok. Y'all don't stop. I see Roz, I see The Eleven, Molly Wood, Valdaya, Patrick, Donna, Sharon, Virginia, Melody, Loretta, Lulu, Diane, Never Give Up, Never Give No, I was thinking, Never Too Much, Never Too Much, Never Too Much. Okay, focus, Maggie. Never Give Up, Hello, John Watley, Ruby, User, Oh my goodness, Donna, Rose, Batcave, Alex. I have an Alex. Be Blue, Sister Girl. Oh, Molly Wood likes the dress. Hello, sweetheart, Dorothea, um, Christine, and Molly Wood. So this is, um, thank you. First of all, thank you for the compliment. This is Old Navy. Y'all know I wear Old Navy all the time. So this is a midi. So it's kind of like, um, not ankle, it's not maxi, and it's not mini. So it's like right at the calves. And I got these denim espadrilles from Old Navy, and y'all know I try to keep it modest up here so I have a bodysuit up underneath because I can't be, you know, sharing all the fun bits. Um, but thank you so much. So it's denim or chambray or whatever. I don't know, ask my stylist, but thank you, sweetheart. Mollywood says perfect. I appreciate that, my, I appreciate that, my dear. We got Gillis in the house. Uh, hello, sweetheart. Jurgen is here across the pond in Germany. Hello, Jurgen. We have Jessica Latvi, or is it Latvi? Uh, welcome back. Good to see you, sweetheart. Everybody's saying hello. Thank you for my flowers. Yes, welcome in, everyone. Everybody is welcome here. Mm, Gillis says you're monitoring the tornadoes are coming. Yeah, you're in Texas, right? Tornado Alley. You used to live in Oklahoma. That is nothing to play with. <laughs> Molly Wood likes the shoes. Thank you, darling. Uh, hello, everyone. Vel, I have your package here. Let me know if I can open it. I haven't gotten to it yet, but let me know. Vel sent me some happy mail and I haven't opened it yet. <clears throat> so when we get to a stopping point, if you all want to see it, put the box emoji in the chat. In the chat. Gillis says, and a thousand kisses from you is never too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Do not encourage me. All right, y'all. So let me show you, let's clean the counters and get started. Let me show you all the video that I found that we're gonna make and um, the, the goodies that we're gonna try and recreate. All right, so let's clean off. <coughs> So Neiman Marcus calls these popovers. My man saw the stream from yesterday, and he, country boy, he was like, what are those? Biscons, half biscuit, half croissant. So I said, I don't know. Let me see if I can recreate them. Have I ever made these before? No. Why would I do that? Has that ever stopped me? No, we do it together. All right. So if you like pastries. Today is your day. I will eat one for research purposes. Y'all know I struggle. Uh, and then I want to ship these out. All right. So if we got any ladies from the finishing school, <laughs> Gillis wants to see the, the box and Bell says, yes, ma'am. Okay, absolutely. So let's clean hands. All right. So this is a two minute video. It's not a reel. So I am just going to uh, follow along with the video and then once we get the um, ingredients in the oven because we are going to have to bake um, It's about a 30 minute bake. So that's why I move it fast. Okay, 
I move fast anyway. Did you ask for that? No, but you got it anyway. I don't know why I do what I do. Okay. So I tagged the Neiman Marcus duplicate recipe in the description. I am going to try and make that, but it's a lot longer than I thought. I found a shorter recipe. So what we're going to do on live is this one from Alexandra's Kitchen. And it literally says how to make, oh, sorry, three tips for lofty popovers. Apparently, this is also Yorkshire pudding. Excuse me. I didn't know that. I have been to London. I'm going back this summer for polo, but I thought pudding was pudding. How is pudding a pastry? Somebody help me out. I don't know. But I have been invited by Woman of Elegance to attend my first polo at Cartier. So I will be across the pond and watching whatever they do over there. And I always take y'all with me. Okay, so we are going to start from the beginning. All right, so this is the goal. All right, so you can see why they're called popovers. They actually pop up over the muffin tin something and the muffin man the muffin man the muffin man something something okay focus maggie we got to get cracking okay <clears throat> so let's go back uh oh okay three eggs the key to this recipe is that your ingredients need to be room temperature apparently that's important all right so let me get to a stopping point so everyone can see what we're doing because we're going to put everything in the blender and then bake it all right so you can see it says three eggs room temperature now i have seen this before where if you're going to be cooking with proteins um it's better to not go from refrigerator cold to hot all right let me get my uniform on and then we're gonna get started let's get it started uh-huh let's get it started in here let's get it started uh-huh let's get it started in here why maggie i don't know those uh popovers look good all right <laughs> i know let me know if you want me to ship you some ah aaron laura says my nana's from scotland we grew up with the yorkshire it's delicious i'm very interested in this strawberry spin so we're making the regular yorkshire pudding popover and then we're going to make the strawberry butter that's the signature, all right? So that's the plan. So I got two recipes. <clears throat> all right. So those of you all who have actually had this, let me know, let me know how I do. And if you want to taste one, happy to get rid of them. We got Maggie merch. Find me on only pans, because you'll never find me on only fans. Um, multiple sizes, multiple colors. You can customize them for free. And this one is the standard we have standard long and kid sizes they have pockets and uh, get the job done i love my kitchen uniform all right so we need a blender all right we need a blender y'all are laughing y'all are laughing at me all right so i'm using my little ninja food processor she's using what looks like a blender guess what i got i got a fancy one over there but i'm not trying to do all that this is the practice round, okay? I plan on doing more. Um, three eggs, room temperature. Let's see, are these room temperature? All right, so I had a meeting at the kids' school. Did not go well, not talking about that. But I took the eggs out of the fridge <laughs> before I went. So I'm gonna feel them. And hopefully, I've been gone a couple hours, so hopefully they are um, room temperature enough. But she does give some hacks in the recipe, if your eggs are refrigerator cold, she says to put them in a bowl with warm water and um, for 10 minutes and they'll get to room temperature. So we're gonna use three whole eggs. They're not, we'll see y'all. All right, and I know the proper way to open this is not to, open, to crack the egg directly into the ingredients because you'll get a little bit of shell the proper way, but I'm not a real chef, is to crack it into like a separate bowl and then pour it into your ingredients. I'm not doing that. Look, we figure it out as we go over here. All right, two eggs. They're like not cold, but 
And I wonder if it's the temperature of the ingredients makes them rise up. You lift me up so I can climb a mountain, something like that. Okay, so we have three eggs. <clears throat> All right, so we have our three eggs, room temperature, and then, oof, I think next we have is the milk. One and a half, uh oh, one and a half cups of room temperature milk. Now, I do have room temperature milk. Sorry, I placed the grocery order, and this is what I got, y'all. I got this, um, this is real milk. I'm your substitute teacher because I cook with sugar substitutes, dairy substitutes, and gluten substitutes. No substitutes today. Maybe the strawberry butter. But you can get this shelf-stable milk. This just came from Kroger. You can get it at the dollar store. You don't have to refrigerate it until you open it. It's real milk, but this way we're going to keep it room temperature. All right, so we need one and a half cups. So once you open it, then you need to refrigerate it. All right. So 2% is what I got. So let's do one and a half cups of milk. Y'all know me, I usually do almond milk, coconut milk, um, the non-dairy milks. I love milk, but it doesn't love me back. But you know, the first time I make these recipes, I always try to make them authentic and then, you know, we'll doctor it up. Yes, you raise me up to crack me in a blender. What is good for cataracts? Who has cataracts? I have an astigmatism, but we will be all right. I can see. Um, Diwali and Sense as I make class. Hope you're blessed with Maggie. I am. Thank you for the blessing. Hello, everybody's laughing. Okay, so let me just check because y'all know I mess up stuff. Three eggs. One, two, three, one and a half cups of milk, a teaspoon of kosher salt, okay? So we need kosher salt. And kosher salt, this just came from the dollar store. I think it's something about it doesn't have fish or something, I don't know, but kosher salt. We need a teaspoon. I got a half teaspoon. So we're going to put in a teaspoon of kosher salt in here. You know those shows where everything is out, ready, and prepared? This is not that. Y'all know. All right. So we're going to go in with a teaspoon of kosher salt. That was fun. And then one and a half cups of bread or all-purpose flour. Okay. Now... I didn't even know bread flour was a thing, but I'm trying to be authentic, so I ordered it for y'all. So you can use all-purpose flour. I got this right here, white lily bread flour. So we're gonna try this, and we need one and a half cups. Yes, one and a half cups. Oh, we need to turn on the oven, hold up. Y'all know how I do. Let me just go to the recipe. Um, I'm looking for the temperature. Let me get the temperature. Cause I need to turn this on. I think it's like 425. So again, this is Alexandra's Kitchen. Uh, let me jump to the recipe. Preheat the oven for 425. All right, let me do that. All right, let's make sure it's empty. Y'all know how I do. Okay, so let's go back to our video. Oh. We were at the video. Okay. So we need one and a half cups of all purpose or bread flour. Let me know if anybody knows the difference. So I have a half cup measure. We're going to do three of these. You're just being silly. <laughs> Channeling Bernie Mac. All right. So far we have milk, we have eggs, and I'm using bread flour. 
for the first time. If you're not a baker, I'm a cooker, not a baker. I like this blender recipe because it's literally just mix and pour. All right. So it looks like flour to me. We're gonna shake off the excess. Shake it off, shake it off, uh-uh, uh, shake it off, shake it off. There's a half cup. There's a whole cup. And one and a half cups. All right, so we got that. Now what do we need? Blend for 30 seconds. All right, so we're gonna blend it with these ingredients, milk, eggs, salt, and bread flour, whatever that is. All right, so let's put the top on here and blend it up. Ooh, dusty. But I was gonna say, if you're, you know, intimidated by baking, if this is kind of like a dump and, you know, stir or dump and blend, uh, this could be an easy one for you. All right, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna count or sing. If it's too loud for you, um, uh, close your ears. Uh, osa pachu muck. Oh my God. Osa pachu. I don't wanna butcher it says bread flour has more protein. Thank you for telling me. All right, 30 seconds. Okay, just had to get that out. All right, so we blended it for 30 seconds. Let's take a look. Why 30 seconds? I don't know. Y'all are dancing with me. Oh, the egg carton says put an egg on it. Doom, doo, doo, doo. Oh, that's, can't touch this. Anyway, focus. All right, so we have our blend. I think it looks kind of like hers. All right, and then now, I should have been doing this, three tablespoons of melted butter. Of course, I don't have it ready. So I have regular butter. This is unsalted. It's what we got. Um, but I'm going to use three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to melt this really quick in the microwave and then add it in here while our oven is preheating. All right, so we have our real butter stick, so not non-dairy. So we're going to get three of these uh, markings and melt it. This is going to be buttery and flaky and pastry-y, if that's a word. Welcome to Maggie's Patisserie. Do not, whatever you do, do not take me to a, um, a bakery. Just leave me there <laughs> to die with a smile on my face. Whew. All right. Um, 30 seconds, maybe? And let's just put a paper towel on top so it doesn't explode. Y'all know how I do. Okay. Now, let's get our butter. Let's move things out of the way so I don't knock it over. Bread flour. Got the room temperature milk. And she says if your uh, milk is like fridge cold, you can put it in the microwave or the stove for like you know, microwave for a few seconds or the stove for like 10 minutes, just, you know, not hot because you don't want to scramble the eggs. Okay. So let's get our melted butter. And eh, not melted yet. We need to go 30 more seconds. We need it pourable. Okay. So I'm getting excited. Let's just clean up. I think, I should have looked to see how many this makes. I think it makes 12 minis, but I got a new gadget for us class. Go, go gadget Maggie. And uh, I ordered on Amazon some popover um, tins or like muffin tins. You can absolutely do this in a cupcake or muffin tin, but I'll show you all what we got. All right. Let's check 
Now see if our butter is melted. Okay, perfect. Anybody got any crab or lobster? You want to get that butter bath in there, put some garlic, put some parsley. Mm. Okay, focus, Maggie. So we're going in three tablespoons of melted butter and blend 15 to 20 more seconds. Okay, get all that butter. What is wrong with me? Okay, let's do 20 more seconds because I've been over here bumping my gums. And count with me, class, or dance with me. Y'all are laughing with me. Everybody's laughing. Good. I'm glad y'all are having a good time. Okay. So we blended it with the butter. Now what's next? All right. Buttered muffin tin. Okay. So we're going to pause here. If you have a cupcake tin, you all can see we're going to pour it in here. She's using a regular muffin tin, but y'all know me. Why be regular when you can be extra? All right. So we've got our batter in here. Nice and pourable. Kind of reminds me of Maggie cakes. Okay, let me show you what I got. So if you looked at the thumbnail, you saw something that looked like this. I ordered these on Amazon because I wanted to be authentic. So this is a two pack of popover tins. Now the difference between this and a regular muffin tin, first of all, you can see how they're spaced out more, which allows for the muffin to like mushroom over and you have that big pop over effect. Also notice how they're kind of narrow at the bottom and it gives us a lot of space. So it's gonna give us kind of like a mushroom cloud thing going on. All right, so maybe we'll be able to do both of these. Let's see, let me give it a little wipe and then we're gonna grease it up. We're gonna butter and pour and then put it in the oven. Oven is still preheating. Look at that, I know, Why, right? Why be regular when we can be extra? extra extra bake all about it right okay so let's just give these a wipe and then i'm just going to take the butter stick that we had and i'm just going to get in here like a crayola and just kind of get in there or you could get a pastry brush and brush it as well all right so we have our butter stick that we just melted. All right. So I'm just going to peel this back. Ugh. All right. So we're just going to get in here, get in there, get it all greased up. This is why I have so many daggum uh, appliances and, and gadgets. So you all can see we're just getting it all nice and greased up. So our popovers won't stick and they'll also have that nice, butter buttery brown on the outside oh my gosh this is not a weight loss friendly recipe this is full carbs full gluten that's why we're giving it away give it away give it away now um, but i i do like to challenge myself <sighs> my mother's daughter we would go out to eat when we were kids and my mom would be like mm, i can make this and we're like mom you're ruining it now i see a recipe and i'm like i think i can make that Oh, y'all, getting old. But this is fun for me. All right, so this one's good. Let me start pouring and see if I need to go over to the second one. Because I think the recipe says to fill it like a half or three quarters. So let's just give it a little swirl. And we're going to pour. This is good that we have the blender so we don't make a mess. So let's do like three quarters because it's gonna rise up and really fluff up, or at least that is the goal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go, well, no, I might be able to do just one. Yeah, I think we'll do just one because I'm gonna make another batch. I'll show you all the other recipe 
but we don't want, I wanted to get these in the oven. All right, let's look for which one is low. Y'all know how it is, just like the kids. He got more than me. Hush, you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. All right, so for these, um, I would say these are large. You're gonna get six. If you have the mini muffin tins, you can do 12, but they recommend if you're doing the muffin tin that everything is like right next to each other to do every other one. So they have space to really mushroom out or pop over. All right, let's clean up. Got a little bit of spillage here. And as soon as the oven beeps, we're gonna put these in. We're at 417, we need it to get to 425. Let me just move this behind me so I don't knock it over. All right. And then we'll take a little um, unboxing break and uh, then we'll make some strawberry butter. Strawberry butter. Oh my gosh, y'all. We are never going to get this weight off. Okay. So here's where we... Oh, it's time. Okay. It is time. Let's watch. All right. So we poured. She's doing um, 12 and she's doing them all together. So we did that, or we're using the popover tin, but you can absolutely do this on the muffin tin. Yep, just wiped up the excess, uh-huh. Bake 425 for 20 minutes, lower to 350. Okay, 425, 20 minutes. 425, 20 minutes. All right, so I guess I just put this directly, I just put this directly on. In the middle. I'm nervous, but okay. All right, 425 timer. Okay. That's what makes me nervous about baking because you need to be precise. We got VSA in the house. She says, hi, Auntie Maggie. Love baby Benji. The essay and her husband just had a beautiful baby boy, Benjamin. I sent him a little something. He looks sweet. Y'all uh, are loving this. You're going to make it? Okay, looking delicious. It is so easy. Okay, good. Y'all keep me on the time. All right, so what we're going to do now is go back. Not really. Okay, so I'm going to do another batch, but I'm going to do another batch with the other recipe, and I'll show y'all why in a, in a minute. Okay. So let's just rinse this. Mom says clean as you go. So let me just do a quick rinse. Yes, the recipe is easy. Now the other recipe, I'll have it playing for you all while I do my um, unboxing and we make that strawberry butter. This recipe uses the blender. The other recipe uses the mixer. We are going to get kitschy. You all know Brandon L. Jett spoiled us with the mixer. Um, so I'll show it to you. Whoa! Y'all see this? Do y'all see it's like smoking over my oven? Can y'all see that? But I think because the, um, what are these? The popover tins are brand new. Call the law. Okay. Everything's good, but y'all can see in there, so you'll see them rise up. Okay, so let's clean the counter. We got a couple things to do while we're baking. This could be a great like brunch. This could be a great like welcome. This could be a nice little hot buttered bread, or I guess in the UK, they eat it as dessert. I know, here in Laura's looking, what's going on over there? I think it's because they're brand new, maybe the coating or something. Ah. All right. We go on. All right, everyone. So we've got unboxing to do. We got some strawberry butter. So let me show you all the mistake that I made. Um, okay. So put a pin in it and come back to this recipe. We got the timer on, so we're good. Now the recipe that I wanted to make and I will make is Okay, this one in the middle. How to make Neiman Marcus popovers with strawberry butter. All right, so a similar recipe. I'm going to let it play here, but I want to show you all something and see if you notice where I made my mistake. 
All right, so let me turn the sound down. So this one is just one cookbook. Let's jump to the recipe. Jump, jump, jump to it. One of these days, I won't have any outbursts. Today is not that day. All right, so we have our instructions here. Then we're gonna warm, uh-oh, we don't need the pop-ups. We're gonna warm our milk. We're gonna sift our flour, six eggs. This one makes a lot more. Turn down the mixer, add the milk, add the flour. Does anybody see step number seven that I didn't read? I know we're on a delay, so I'm gonna let you all take a look at that. Does anybody see step number seven? Elisa, did I miss baking powder? Not in the backup recipe, because did anybody, baking powder is needed in this one. Did anybody see it? I just get excited and I start doing stuff. <laughs> you might have missed something. We're using a backup recipe. Can anybody tell me why? Look at step number seven. <laughs> Look at step number seven and tell me why we're using a backup. <laughs> exactly. I looked at this and I was like, oh no, my streams are only an hour. We cannot let this rest for an hour. Jurgen says, if there's a bang in the oven, I have one second to run away. How are we doing? All right. They're in there doing their thing. Nothing happened yet. <laughs> exactly. So what I'm going to do is I will do the other recipe after this one. And I'll just post a picture somewhere. But this one that does the mixer and everything requires that you let it rest for an hour. I'm not doing that. But I will play the recipe so you all can see it while we do our unboxing, okay? So I'll leave that here. Now we're going to open up a gift that Vel sent us. I have no idea what it is. So we're going to unbox together. Oh, hashtag research, exactly. I will not be discouraged. We are going to get our popovers. And I thought, oh, should I update the stream? Should I take it down? I'm not doing all that. Y'all get what you get, all right? One, two, three. Ah! I'm so excited. I am that woman. <laughs> Look, y'all. Belle got us a salad spinner. Thank you so much, Belle. What did we make? Oh, the Caesar salad pizza. Y'all remember when I was washing the romaine lettuce by hand? And I was like, I wonder if those uh, salad spinner things really work. And then Belle messaged me. She was like, Maggie, what's your address? Don't worry, I'm not gonna show up. So I sent her my address and the next day this arrived. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Belle. I appreciate it so much. I know, isn't that sweet, Brittany? I love kitchen gadgets, y'all. I cook all the time. If you're new here, I stream every day. I make food and femininity content and we have fun with recipes here. Um, I do eat salads and uh, I cannot wait to use this. I've never had a salad spinner and I heard this one is rated really, really well. So thank you, thank you so much. All right, so now we are gonna make our strawberry butter for the popovers that are in the oven and whatever else we can do. Uh, I don't think I'll start this one now, but um, I'm really excited. All right, so let's do that. <clears throat> Whoop, I see them rising up. Can y'all see them in there? Now this recipe uh, has the sifted flour and the baking powder and all of that. This recipe has the bread flour. Um, so we'll see. We'll try both of them. Vel says, I always want to show support. You're welcome. Aw, thank you, Vel. One of my day one scholars been rocking with me since we were really struggle streaming, y'all. Uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now, oh, perfect. We are up to the strawberry butter portion of the recipe. So we're doing a different popover recipe, but now I'm coming to the strawberry butter, which is in the recipe that I tagged, all right? So let's watch that together and then we'll make it. It's really just two ingredients, so it shouldn't be that hard, but it looks pretty fun, all right? So let me turn this up, all right? 
Let's see if there's any sound. Oh, it's just music. All right, so we're gonna put butter, three cups of butter, room temperature, beat it on high. So we need to mix up the butter. So we'll get a nice creamed butter and then a half a cup of strawberry preserves. So it's just butter and strawberry preserves. Now, I don't know if I have half a cup and we're gonna mix it together. So I may have to, I may have to downsize, but that is the strawberry butter. If you all saw the thumbnail and when we went to Neiman Marcus, they actually served us popovers with our own individual strawberry butter. When we open them up, it's gonna be nice and flaky and pastry on the inside. And then we're going to smear it with that straw. Why am I salivating already? Okay. All right, so let's do this. We need to make some strawberry butter. Y'all excited? Three cups, three quarter cups. Three quarter cups of butter, okay? So now here's the thing. I'm trying to, mm, I'm doing some struggle math in my head. All right, so let's keep our, our new kitchen gift right here. Thank you, Belle, for the salad spinner. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back and let y'all watch, uh-oh, let y'all watch this. When you are doing a recipe and you don't have all the ingredients, you can scale up or scale down. So this is what I have, y'all. I don't really keep jelly and stuff like that in the house. I found this in the fridge. It's really good, but it's sugar-free, all right? So this is Chalk Zero Strawberry Jam, no sugar added. You can actually make your own strawberry and other preserves. You just cook it over the stove with uh, like sweetener or sugar if you can have sugar. But I don't think this is half a cup. No, this is definitely not half a cup. This looks like a quarter cup. So do I want to do half? I should have bought some. Something told me to buy some. But let's see. I do have... Um, let me check and see. I'm going to check the pantry if I have... Check the kids' fridge. This is so janky. I won't ever get right. <laughs> Y'all like the outburst? Okay. So we'll use the strawberry jelly. I also have this red chili pepper jelly. This is not sugar-free. We can do a, a, a sweet heat butter. And then I have grape jelly. We can do a blend. So I know I need to, um, I know I need to start with the butter. So I'm gonna start with that. Uh, let me know what you all think. We'll use up all of the strawberry jam. Should I just do strawberry and pare it down? <laughs> Hello, Barb. Or should I blend? I know y'all. Looks incredible. Oh, how are popovers? <gasps> y'all look. Look, look. That's kind of creepy how they come out of the ground like that. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's get the mixer. Kitschy. <sighs> this thing is solid as a rock. Doom, 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 doom. <sighs> Thank you, Brandon Eldet. <clears throat> Sorry. Gifting this to us. All right, I'm going to give it a rinse so it's nice and clean for our butter. Y'all let me know if we should just do half. Maybe we'll do that. Try to keep it authentic. Seven minutes to go. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. I know it's four minutes. All right, so let me give this a little wash. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and clean. It sits out on the counter. So I wanna make sure we get it nice and clean. 
Okay. Y'all are excited? You see our popovers? Yeah, exactly. You're right, exactly. Seven minutes. I don't know if you can see on the on the stove. So at seven minutes, we are going to turn it down and then just cook 10 more minutes and then they should be good to go. But they're already coming up nicely. All right. All right, y'all. So if you want, uh oh, if you want this recipe, uh, the one we're actually using, I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the chat. I just started, you know, prepping the ingredients and I was like, oh shoot, I gotta wait for an hour. I'm not doing that. I like to cook live for you all so we can see if it's like Tilly says fake news or if it's you know really good. All right, so let's open this up and lock it. Okay, so let's do some struggle math. The recipe calls for three quarters of, well, let's see how much uh, strawberry jelly we have. I'm gonna eyeball it and say it's a half. It may be a little extra buttery. Alexa, what is half of three quarters? It's like a little more than a third. All right, so let's see. Uh, a third of a cup. It might be what we have. You know what? I'm just going to use that stick we have out. All right. So if we look at the butter stick, a third of a cup is half. So I think we're good. I'm just going to... Oof, y'all. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Wait till you see them. Can you see them? Okay, so this is the one that we greased the um, um, popover tins with. So I'm just going to put this in here. It's kind of room temperature, kind of soft. And I'm just going to blend this and uh, mix it, mix it, and uh, let it get all soft and creamy, okay? So we need our whisk. Give this a nice little wipe down. Y'all see them? <laughs> Eyeball it. It's the favorite way of measuring. All right, we're just going to go with what we got. All right. If we have enough to smear one on or we have enough for the um, photo, we're good. All right, so let's put our beautiful, clearly I'm not a baker. Brandon Elgett was so kind to do this. Okay, so we have an, a, some butter. It's so poofy, I know, y'all. <laughs> okay, you'll wait for the flavor taste. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's lock it and then lower this down and lock this. And then let's plug Kitchy up. Kitchy is short for KitchenAid. And, oh, it doesn't really say a speed, right? Just mix it. Okay, let's start slow. Kind of caught up in there. Probably need more. All right, let me use the spatula and get it. It's just stuck. I don't know if y'all can see. It's just stuck on the spinner. Let's flick this down into the bowl and see if we can actually cream some butter. Try again. Ah, it's just getting up in there. Let's see if we go faster. I don't have as much butter as the recipe calls for, so hello, Capone. Thank you so much for being here. All right, y'all. I'm just going to mash it with the spoon and see if we can get it off of here. Yeah. Let's lock that. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so let's just kind of smash it up on the sides. Maybe it's not as soft as it's supposed to be. All right. 
but we want it softer than it is. Now I see why you really want your ingredients to be room temperature. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, j the jam in there, jam on it. Oh my gosh, y'all, those things are massive. Okay. I want to just get in here and like just mash it. I'm trying to be an elegant fake chef and not like beat it all to bits. All right, we're just going to put this the jam in there and see how we can blend it. I may just have to take it out by hand and do it. All right, so we have some butter and I'm going in with the Chalk Zero strawberry jam. So we're just going to use up the rest of this. All right, so we're less than a minute on our um, uh, popovers. So we have our sugar-free. Not that that matters today because we are making a full flavor recipe, y'all. But if you're gonna do a brunch or your own tea party, this could be a wonderful little pastry. If you, if you um, fancy a croissant, this could be a good substitute for you. All right. All right, do your thing. All right, 10 more seconds and then we're gonna go down to 300 and what? I know you know Aaron, Laura. All right, what temperature? I forgot. I know. Ten minutes at what? I forgot. Oh, 350. Okay. 350 for 10 minutes. All right. So let's take this down. Temperature, bake. All right, I think we're good with the butter. I'm just gonna have to do it by hand. Y'all, this beautiful oven, start. Okay, nine minutes and 30 seconds. If you all could see them, I can't wait for you to see them. Jurgen has his plate, of course you're ready. All right, everyone, let's start cleaning up. I'm just going to mash the butter and the jam together and get our bowl ready. So we can plate and then we are done. Of course, we're gonna have to taste one. Oh my gosh, this is the worst job ever. All right. But now you all know how to make strawberry butter or grape butter or you know whatever kind of jelly you have. If you wanna get a little bit fancier, let's unplug this. All right, so it looks good inside. I'm just gonna mix it by hand. All right, let's do this. Let's, okay, it's unplugged. Let's take this off. Let's take this out. Let's move this, it's sturdy. And we're just going to get in here and really, <laughs> I'm just gonna churn the butter by hand, then we're gonna taste some. But this is how you make honey butter. This is how you make honey mustard. Obviously, this is how you make strawberry butter. Just mix the ingredients. And y'all, I know we're making a full flavor recipe today, but even these sweets and treats and condiments, if you can make them at home, you just skip a lot of those extra ingredients that they put you know, on them that keep them on the shelf forever and ever, amen. And so, you know, you can enjoy a lot of the same things, but homemade is uh, good if you, you know, you want to try it and 
you know, challenge yourself and give it away like I do. Give it to the neighbors. Give it to your man. Ladies, cook for your husband. So surprise him with something, you know. Ooh, it smells good. So it doesn't look that great, but I'm going to scoop it in a little container. We'll give it a little taste. Let's move kitchen. It smells really good. Strawberry, like a creamy strawberry. Oh. Okay, so let's do this. Let me get a spatula to scrape down the side because y'all know we are greedy. We got six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie, pressure on. Six minutes. I don't know if it's six minutes, four minutes. Y'all, I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. All right. So we've got our butter. Let's scrape down the sides. Get all this goodness. This could be another... Um, inexpensive, like Christmas gifts, uh, y'all. Teacher's gifts, get these little jars at the dollar store, tie a ribbon around it, make a big batch of butter. Just get um, two ingredients. Get butter from the store, let it get room temperature soft, get the jelly or jam of your choice, jam on it, and then just put it in the uh, mixer. Or if it's soft enough, like I'm doing, just mix it by hand put into one of these instant gifts, crafts, things people will use. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can absolutely um, have something thoughtful that people will use. All right, so I'm gonna try and copy her. We got five minutes. Oh my God. Y'all, not only have they risen up, but they are leaning to the side lean with it <laughs> rock with it so excited okay focus maggie all right let's taste this i'm just so excited <sighs> let's taste our strawberry butter for research purposes our two ingredients put this on toast oh my god Full flavor. Now I'm gonna tell you, because I didn't let the butter get all the way room temperature soft, it's got a little chunks of butter nubs or butter nibs, you know what I mean? But it's good, it's really good. So let me see if I can be like her and use my little scooper and try and get like a nice little scoop of strawberry butter. This is for the photos. It's not perfect, but all right. So we got our little dollop. Probably should be redder. We'll be all right. All right, so let's clean up. Got our strawberry butter. Let's get ready. We got four minutes for the popovers to come out. All right, so let's move all of the <laughs> workspace. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and do hers. We got the butter, we got a plate. I'm gonna put a bowl with a, like a little towel in there. All right, make it look like somebody's home, homemade uh, kitchen. Hello, we got, oh, 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 Sheila. I love it when you come to class, Sheila. Ah. Package and market those, the butter nibs. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, those little butter bits. Y'all know I just be making up stuff over here. I don't know what happened this stuff is. We figure it out together. All right. So we'll get a nice little plate. Do we have... A nice plate, a nice little butter knife for our spread, like your bread and butter um, at a fancy restaurant. Welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. <laughs> All right, let's get a bowl. I don't know if this bowl is big enough. Those things look humongous. 
Y'all, they're like softball size. They're huge. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, all right. Let me see if I can. I'm not. Okay, that was not elegant, but I wanted a bigger bowl because these things are massive, y'all. Um, and then I have a nice little towel. Put in here, we could have tea at home. All right, so oops, Fragonard, one of the uh, perfume perfumeries in Paris. Yes, in Paris when I went there, Marcus just brought me back some French perfume. So let's just put this in here, make it look lovely. Oh, all right, Bill, I'm moving this just for one second. We'll set it right here. So we have our bowl for our popovers. We have a nice little plate and we have our strawberry butter. All right, one minute. Oh my gosh, it's the little things, y'all. It's really just the little things. Hope everybody's doing well. We're gonna dismiss um, once these come out. Oh, I gotta take the picture. Um, let's see, so today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Lou Casey and I will be in the Wives Club. I have three channels. Find me at the Wives Club on all platforms. Uh, we're gonna be talking about relationship content, responding to the late, great Kevin Samuels. Um, and yeah, I'm here every day. Usually, um, excuse me, it's about 50-50 food and femininity content. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, Val, for the salad spinner. Now I'm gonna have to find a salad recipe to put in there. Jurgen says stair ladders are practical. Okay, Jurgen. I know, that was not elegant. I do have a ladder in the garage, but Ah, oh, shucks. All right, time for snacks. Let's turn all this off. All right, y'all ready? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I needed to put a tray down there. I got some spillover, lesson learned. Okay, hold up. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's move this for a moment. Move this for a moment. Y'all, these are massive. We made popovers. All right. They are piping hot. You can see we made these. They got massively big they're like air pockets on the inside omg okay so it says eat immediately don't mind if i do now i'm going to take a picture now because i don't know if they're going to deflate or what so let me move the bowl all right and let me just get a picture with our strawberry butter in the popover tin let me turn it around and then we'll put them in the bowl and make it look kind of nice and then one on a plate. OMG, y'all, look at this. We made popovers or Yorkshire pudding or whatever. I'll put this here. Take several pictures, some with and without the flash. Get up in there, get close to it. I want to get the height of them. That's the key. All right, then we'll do a quick video. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? All right. So let me take this one out. 
that's got like a little cave. Oh my gosh, y'all. It just comes right out. And it's like, hold up. It is like crispy. Look at all that flakiness inside for the strawberry butter. All right. Let me get them in this bowl. I almost don't want to put them in the bowl. I like them here, but when I tell y'all these are massive, they're bigger than my hand. This one, probably should have used the smaller bowl. Got our popovers. All right, let's give this a try. We're gonna try it first, just plain. Oh my God, it's like cracky and oh my God, y'all, this is not gluten-free. Wait a minute. It's hot, hot butter bread. It is hot butter bread. Oh my God. It does smell good. And yes, they're beautiful. So let's get in here, y'all. Let's get in here with our strawberry butter. Bread etiquette, take a bite-sized piece. Now this is bread flour, so it's a little bit more dense than regular all-purpose flour, but we wanna get in here. I have to ship these. I probably, I use unsalted butter. I like a little ginormous, aren't they? Y'all look at my, I mean, look how big they are. And we filled it three quarters of a way. I would probably use salted butter. Cause you know, when you eat sweet, a little bit of a salty finish is just perfect. Y'all, this is good. I'm gonna make more. If anybody would like one, inbox me an address to ship it to and I'll put a little care package for you together but we made our popovers you can do this mm-hmm mm-hmm oh yeah we did it wow so this is my homemade version of what we had at afternoon tea if you like a croissant it's like an ice cream cone old school ice cream cone nice and flaky and I uh, got all those nooks and crannies inside. Absolutely. Whew. I can already feel the itis coming in. <laughs> all right. How does it smell? It smells good, but does it smell like a bakery? Yes, but it's not like, you know how bread, like bread bread has just like this amazing like bread smell. It's, it's actually quite light. And I don't know if it's the milk or what, but y'all, don't matter. It looks good, it tastes good, it smells good. It even feels good. It's like um, crunchy on the outside, but so flaky on the inside. All right, everybody. I know you need a croissant, apricot butter. Yes, think of all the different spreads. Make these, have your, have your girlfriends over, make some tea. You all will enjoy. All right, I'm going to let you all go. I will see you tomorrow night with Lucy at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested in relationship content, that'll be tomorrow on the Wives Club channel. I'll post it everywhere. Um, I'm off of Instagram. I don't know what happened, but maybe they'll let me back on. But you all can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, um, and TikTok for now. Thank you, uh, Vel, for the salad spinner and this one right here. And I will see you all tomorrow for relationship or Saturday for more food. All right, class is dismissed. Mm. Oh God. Somebody come get these. Thank you for the hearts, TikTok. Mm. Mm. Mm.